Good evening, everybody. Welcome to MLD Behind the Goal. I'm an Anima J, joined on my awkward side, that way, by Agony. <laughs> Agony actually has power this week, so it's good to see you. Hi. So, last week was a half-hour episode where we were supposed to recap Week 7. I recapped Week 7 because I'm a boss, and Agony is a powerless scrub. But <laughs> Wow. Savage, Jay. Well, Tell it's us not. More. It's it, hey, but, well, okay. First of all, I didn't know where the hell you were. Because <laughs> I mean, it's not like you had internet to tell me that you were. You know, yeah, I'm also power. a phoneless scrub, so. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 basically just the poorest guy I've ever I mean, met. I mean, I have a phone, but it's just like not activated, so I can't. It, really it's a paperweight. It. It's a glorified yeah. paperweight. Anyway, I, mean, I can play like Clash of Clans whenever I'm at my house. <laughs> oh jeez. No, I don't. I do not do that. That, I, that game. That's a lie. Stupid. That's a lie, and you know it. <laughs> I play Battle Arena, okay? Not. I don't do the the whole Clash of Clans thing. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> moving on with our lives here. So we're gonna recap week or not recap week seven. I already did that. We're gonna go through the previews for week eight here. Um, interesting matchups in the sense that a lot of them, actually all of them, are in conference, so they all affect the playoff picture in some way. Um, Unfortunately, uh, with with the way the playoff picture has kind of shaken out, there's only one game that's that, that's truly interesting, at least in my books. I know Agony and I disagree with this one based on our perception of how the playoff picture actually is, and we'll argue about that in a little bit. Uh, let's start off things here with the Bulls and the Bears. So the Bulls looking to cinch the wildcard spot in the Orange Conference here. They don't need too much more to do that. The the Bears coming off of I think it was an NCP last week actually. No, sorry, they 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 did actually manage to, to play that one out, but they they have lost Alpha due to um, due uh, due to some uh, some roster decisions there. So Agony, how do you feel about this one at least? I mean, like we were discussing off air. The, the Bulls can pretty much lock up the wild card with, with a sweep here. Well, I think the sweep is definitely possible for them. I mean, JB, J. Dilly, they're, they have like a rotational style that we sort of need to see in the all-around team. Great on defense. Um, I think JB is looking like he's stepping up his game over the last couple weeks. So I'm going to say Bulls here, probably a 5-0 just due to the fact is their defense has been pretty on point lately. And if they keep that going, it's going to be an easy series for them. Yeah, I already see Mystery cringing in the chat because he knows he knows damn well that <laughs> the bears the bears are first up in the firing line, and I, I have to kind of agree. The Bulls have really come into their own the last few weeks. the The first couple of weeks that we saw them 
weren't really sure what to expect with them. We saw a lot of defense come out of them, but they they just couldn't really find that transition point where they could turn their defense into offense and really come away with things. Um, they do sit second in the league in saves, I think, possibly behind... Well, Actually, that's the Reiners, I believe, because Azalei holds that record still. If I'm not wrong, he holds the record. Yes, I don't know necessarily if might, he actually 